upper level ridge of high pressure that's parked out right down in the middle of the Atlantic. And this thing is not going to be strengthening and it's going to stay well up to sea. Let's look at what's coming off of Africa real quick. We've got a, an Invest 95L that's out there. It's got some possibility for development, 30% in the next five days. But look where the development area is going and look the way that thing is shaped. You know what? That tells me that this thing is going to head toward the northwest and stay out to sea. Guys, back to you. And that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much, Dr. Postel. Well, you know what? They say a picture is worth a thousand words. If that's the case, we're going to give you an entire mouthful here, everybody. Get ready. Yes, we will. We have the top five photos of the day. All right, of the week, actually. Number five, check out this Texas-sized storm cloud. Yesterday, this was shot near Sealy, just west of Houston. It was a tornado-warned storm, meaning a warning was out on it, but no reports of an actual touchdown. Yeah, good news there. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go to number four, and it is gorgeous. A stormy, beautiful sunset in Arizona shot last night in Buckeye, that's west of Phoenix. Now, if you look closely, about the center, a little over there, you can see a big rain shaft. Oh, I do right? see. Coming right I down. See, I see. Look at those colors. Gorgeous. Yeah, it is pretty. Yeah. The purple and the pink. Number three, also from Arizona near the town of Bisbee, H2O from Odile contributed to this gorgeous waterfall shot. Very nice. Yeah, look at the clouds, right? Right mm -hmm. there on the mountain. And we go to outer space now for number two. That's right. This one was shot at the International Space Station. They flew by Baja, California. Of course, taking a look at the stormy weather, this photo taken by astronaut Reed Wiseman. All right, also from the ISS earlier in the week, an awesome shot of the Aurora. German astronaut Alexander Gerst sent us this picture. Those Very astronauts, nice. they you. get all the good pictures. <laughs> they Not get fair. all the shots. Okay, remember, you can send us your photos or videos anytime by going to weather.com slash photos. Or you can upload them to the Weather Channel handy dandy app right <laughs> on your phone. And it is a mighty fine app indeed. Indeed. Hey, one family's amazing story of the horrendous conditions in Cabo. Yeah, they're not only they're not the only ones. Tensions continue to mount for people as they wait for help. Currently in our area, 86 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High 85. Rainfall may reach one inch. Tonight, variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms. Low 73. Chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook. Texas, the Lone Star State drenched by days of heavy rain, where flash flooding is still posing a dangerous threat. And check this out, a busted beach day along the Gulf. This system was once packing the punch to possibly turn tropical why it's been downgraded. And the impacts you should be on alert for, plus watch out Tampa, that rain coming your way. Then. There's gangs of 20, 30 men in trucks with machetes just going around backing themselves up to people's houses and raiding the houses with or without the people being there. Escape from Baja, first-hand accounts from a family that was trapped in devastation in the city that they've grown to call home. You're watching Weather Center Live on the Weather Channel. Water was rushing in here really fast. One of the things he was doing was checking on low water crossings, making sure the citizens of Travis County were safe. Police continue to desperately search for a deputy apparently swept away by floodwaters in Austin, Texas yesterday. She was checking low water crossings when she radioed that floodwaters were sweeping her squad car downstream. More rain could be on the way, including flash floods, all possibly making the search more difficult. 
heartbreaking story there because we spoke with that uh, police department yesterday mm -hmm. and you can imagine this is a tough time for them. We thank you so much for watching. I'm Kyla Grogan. And I'm Vivian Brown. As Kyla mentioned, the dangerous heavy rain continues today in Texas, leaving parts of the state once again under murky floodwaters. Yeah, and another city taking the brunt yesterday, Houston. Check this out. We have pictures from Houston. This was taken during the early morning rush hour today, but you can't rush through this. In fact, don't even attempt to drive through it. Six to 10 inches of rain have fallen now in the area since yesterday morning, and that rain is still falling as we speak. Here's Kyla with more. I know we need a break in Houston. We really do, but unfortunately we are not getting it as we continue to see the flooding, the stormy weather for a good portion of Texas. It's not just Houston, by the way, West Texas, you've been getting hit too. The problem here is we're getting it from two sides. We're getting the Gulf moisture that's flowing in and we're getting the upper disturbance from Odile, the remnants of that storm tracking across and bringing more rain in. And when I say rain, I'm talking, we're almost at a foot of rain. Look at this, six to 10 inches in Northeast Houston in the last two days, four to seven in Southeast Houston. So as you can imagine, the roads have been a mess. We had accidents reported yesterday. And again, you saw that picture that Vivian showed you, you know, cars uh, with that water right up to their tires. So here we are, you can see some of the heavier showers have started to move offshore. So we are getting a little bit better, but we're still under that flash flood watch in Houston, down to Galveston, down to Palacios as well. Those flood alerts for good reason. We've got saturated ground. So that means that that water's already there. We're adding more to it. We get in trouble quickly. Okay, I'd love to give you better, you know, better news that this is going to be done today. But unfortunately, as we get to Saturday, watch out again for those afternoon thunderstorms. However, let me point out your Sunday here because this is where the good news is. 89 degrees and sunshine for you in Houston. So just take a breath. We'll get through this. It'll take a moment, but uh, until it does, we're going to have to look out. Also looking out for flooding in West Texas, you can see Pecos. We've got those flash flood warnings up where you see the green boxes along I-20. 7.6 inches of rain in the last two days. And you can see also as we head across just to the north and west of Abilene also, they've seen totals up into the 7.4 inches of rain totals. So as we track this through again, we can't quite kick it. We're going to see some of those showers kick up as we get into the afternoon on your Saturday. Sunday will be a much better day for Texas. Vip. All right, we're keeping a close eye on the Gulf because Tampa, you're getting soaked right now. We've been watching an area of low pressure in the Gulf of Mexico and just the onslaught of moisture coming in from the Gulf. As you can see on this radar here, all of the green, the darker greens indicating that rain coming in. It's associated with this area of low pressure. It's a very weak area of low pressure, but only a few hours ago, this low pressure system was forecast to possibly become something tropical. So let's Let's go to hurricane specialist Dr. Greg Postel. He's in the lab with all of the latest information as to why this won't become tropical. Viv, the odds are near zero that this will be strictly tropical development, but there are clouds gathering in the Gulf of Mexico right along that frontal zone that you mentioned. Let's look at the map real quick and I can show you where it's going on. There it is. And we're going to see sort of a traditional development of low pressure here. So not strictly tropical, but it is going to bring some messy weather to the beaches, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina over the weekend. You can see low pressure kind of moving up along that front out to sea. This is more like a nor'easter guys than anything else, but still bringing perhaps two to three inches of rain there in Georgia and South Carolina, and then a little less as you head farther north. Guys, back to you. All right, thanks very much, Dr. Postel. Mm -hmm. We now turn to the latest on Odile's aftermath of visitors stream out of Cabo. They do, they have stories, of course, of survival. That includes a volunteer firefighter trying to provide for his family mm -hmm. and his department. Days without sleep. Volunteer Cabo firefighter Robert Allen can at least make sure his boys get rest during their quick stop in San Diego. This is my family. These kids have been up for almost 24 hours the last couple days. He shares more cell phone video from Cabo. This, just a day after Hurricane Odile ripped through a place he's called home for 13 years. Just a free for all. Just a free for all. He's recording while men, women, and children loot everything in sight. Some taking what they need, others just the whole store down. taking just to take. Oh, that looked good in the living room, wouldn't it? You can't eat chairs, but apparently this guy thinks you can. Homes, businesses, and even the Cabo Fire Department are now in desperate, even dangerous conditions. There's gangs of 20, 30 men in trucks with machetes just going around backing themselves up to people's houses and raiding the houses with or without the people being there. With no time to spare, Cabo's fire chief sent Allen on a mission to find help for at least their department. He hasn't received any major donations yet, but there was this couple. So here we are at the Cabo Fire Department. These people stopped by to give us five huge cases of water, which we appreciate. What are your names? Adele. 
And there was this woman at Lindbergh Field. She gave his department $80. So I went up and took a picture and it was just amazing. Alan still has to get his family to safety. They're going to his wife's parents' home in Phoenix. The ordeal has taken a particularly big toll on her. Well, it's my home. I've been there 13 years. People there are awesome, you know. There's, there's some rough people that are making things bad for the good people, you know. But the majority of them are wonderful people. One of them, her husband, who you couldn't tell still needs a lot of rest. He says he's no hero. I'm nobody special, nobody, you know what I mean? I've got, yeah, just a firefighter trying to help out, do the best I can. People all over the world know us, but they don't yet know we're a family. We're right where you need us. At the next job, next adventure, or at the next exit. Helping you explore super destinations and do everything under the sun. 12 brands, more hotels than anyone else in the world. So wherever you want to be, whatever you want to do, chances are we're already there. Save up to 25% and earn bonus points when you book at WyndhamRewards.com. Let's do some fancy footwork. Tap into new territory with style. Step up the savings and learn some new moves. Yeah, let's tango. Here, here, even here. Then, let's take a bow. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Modern tile, major savings. 12 by 24 ceramic tile is now just 148 per square foot. This is the year to leave the ordinary behind and keep the promises you made to yourself. Take a leap of faith and have a little adventure. Stop dreaming and start doing. This is the year and Alaska is the place. Begin your adventure at alaskabeyondyourdreams.com. Fly a 1941 AT6 Warbird in the Oshkosh Air Show. Reliable weather details matter. Pilots turn to the Weather Channel for precise and trustworthy reports about precipitation, wind, and visibility critical to their safety. Currently in our area, 86 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High 85. Rainfall may reach one inch. Tonight, variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms. Low 73. Chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook. AM on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. Sometimes our co-pilots lead us. They inspire us to try new things, to push our boundaries, and live life to the fullest. At Petco, we like to do the same for our pets. It's why we're so selective about the food we offer, like Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. Now 10% off entire stock for a limited time. Because when our companions live well, so do we. Petco, the power of together. Awesome! I've been Claritin Clear for eight days. At the first sign of your allergies, doctors recommend taking one Claritin every day of your allergy season for continuous relief. 21 days. 14 days of continuous relief. Live Claritin Clear every day. The dueler tires on Terrence Knighton's truck are engineered to be Bridgestone's best SUV tires. And now they have an 80,000 mile tread wear warranty. Guess we're going to be here a while. First time on a treadmill? What do you say? 
I'm just staying. With an 80,000-mile treadwear warranty, the Dueler tires are Bridgestone's best SUV tires. Go to BridgestoneTire.com to find a Bridgestone dealer near you. Across Arizona, rivers are running full thanks to recent rainfall from Odile. The Santa Cruz River is so full. Take a look at this. You can't even see the trunks of the trees there. Yesterday, the area saw more than three inches of rain in some spots. Now, it's been a dry summer for many parts of New Mexico, but that all changed when Odile came right up from the south. Here's Erica Zucco with affiliate KOB. Southwestern New Mexico was ready for a lot of rain and even prepared for extreme flooding. Instead, what they got was a good dose of rain. Showers fell steadily in Silver City and surrounding areas, filling up what are normally dry spots in the Membrus River. People we talked to say it's been a dry year with lakes at their lowest, so this is welcome water. But heavy rains were also a concern. A big storm Friday had already washed out part of a highway. I know that the fish populations have been down and stuff like that, so I, I'm hoping that it'll help with that. But I know that um, close to Silver City, over the Black Range, that they've had lots of like trees falling down and debris and the road is terrible over there. It's missing portions and stuff like that. So it's not good for over there. Some side roads in San Lorenzo and other towns did flood at points. You can see some cars just weren't able to make it through and had to turn around. State water officials will continue to monitor the rivers to see if there are any issues with runoff. In southwestern New Mexico, Eric Zucco, KOBI Eyewitness News 4. Thank you so much. That's what's happening in the southwest. But let's talk about the Midwest, where they're on the lookout for severe weather as we head to our weekend. Vivian. All right, well, let's check it out because all across the Midwest will be targeting the region for the threat of the severe weather, not just hailstones, high winds and heavy rain, but also the threat of tornadoes as we look at the atmosphere and the wind flow vertically. But look at Minneapolis right now. Looks great, as a matter of fact. But unfortunately, conditions will be going downhill as we go through the next 20 24 to 36 hours. In fact, as we go through the next 12 hours, because the storms will begin tonight for you, Minneapolis, right across this region now, southern Minnesota, parts of Iowa, into Wisconsin, with a surface cold front, a very potent front. By 8 o'clock this evening, we can anticipate those spotty winds, the hailstones, and dangerous lightning now, lighting up the night sky in the Minneapolis area. Heavy downpour is expected. So not only tonight, but tomorrow, still looking for some storms for you, Minneapolis, but the day will improve now in Minneapolis tomorrow as the hours go by. But conditions going downhill tomorrow in Chicago and even stretching over to the Detroit area. Sunday, much better though for most of the Midwest, including Minneapolis. There you see the sun returns. It'll be bright and brilliant with temperatures in the upper 60s. So a good day on Sunday, but let's get through the next uh, 36 hours or so. Kyla. Thank you, Vivian. So it looks a few days ago like Polo was winding up for another direct hit on Cabo San Lucas. Now its track has adjusted a little to the west, but next we'll show you what Cabo should still be expecting. Not completely out of the woods yet as we take a look there. You can see it is still awfully close to the southern peninsula there. So we're keeping an eye on that. So what will the world look like for our children 35 years from now? Some of the greatest weather minds coming together to talk about what concerns them the most. The United Nations asked us to develop a forecast for the year 2050. Perhaps you've seen this video. Pretty cool looking, isn't it? Well, check it out on Twitter, hashtag Weather Channel 2050. Monday at 7 p.m., the Weather Channel combines our resources, knowledge, and forecasting ability to address what the world's weather will be like in the year 2050. That's Monday at 7 p.m. Certainly hope you'll be able to join us to check it out. Some cool, innovative thinking going on there. All right, well, let's talk about what we're going to see for the weekend in Washington, D.C. Well, today we're starting off pretty nice here. Take a live look at the White House. Weather not bad at all. You can see those flags in the distance. Yeah, they're flowing a little bit. Wind not bad either, though. We're heading into a pretty good-looking weekend for the Northeast. However, a little chilly this morning. Anybody notice that? Fall is on the way, everybody. I need a password for our new investment account. We haven't used the dog's name lately. <laughs> but it needs 10 characters and a symbol. Okay, add Katie's birthday and a dollar sign. Ah. Did you put the dollar sign before or after Katie's birthday? Uh, I have to start over.
Meet Dashlane, the solution to your password problems. Securely manage your passwords, automatically log into any website, and generate strong passwords. Go to Dashlane.com and get it for free today. My mother made the best toffee in the world. It's delicious. So now we've turned her toffee into a business. My goal was to take an idea and make it happen. I'm Janet Long, and I formed my toffee company through LegalZoom. I never really thought I would make money doing what I love. We created LegalZoom to help people start their business and launch their dreams. Go to LegalZoom.com today and make your business dream a reality. At LegalZoom.com, we put the law on your side. You know, millions of people have saved with Progressive, so I get invited to quite a few family gatherings. Heck, I saved Judith here a fortune with discounts like Safe Driver, Multicar, Paperless. You make a mighty fine Mrs. Milady. I'm not saying Mark's thrifty. Let's just say I saved him $519, and it certainly didn't go toward that ring. Am I right? <laughs> so visit Progressive.com today. I call this one the Robox. Check out all these airline seats. Lots of them, right? But when you try to get one by using your travel rewards card miles, those seats mysteriously vanish. Why? All the flights you want are blacked out. Or they hit you up for some outrageous number of miles. Switch to the Venture card from Capital One. With Venture, use your miles on any airline, any flight, any time. No blackout dates. And with every purchase, you'll earn unlimited double miles. Now we're getting somewhere. What's in your wallet? When you fly a 1941 AT6 Warbird in the Oshkosh Air Show, reliable weather details matter. Pilots turn to the Weather Channel for precise and trustworthy reports. On your mark, get set, win. You're about to take on the ride of your life. Visit Isle Casino Pompano Park for your chance to drive off in a Honda Ridgeline. At 9 p.m. on September 27th, one lucky winner takes home an incredible new Honda Ridgeline. Enjoy one free entry every day from September 1st to the 27th. Three times entries with play on Tuesdays. Buckle up and get ready to win only at Isle Casino Pompano Park. Back pain? Get the same kind of therapy without an appointment. New Smart Relief from Icy Hot. Press a button and relaxing pulses quickly block even chronic pain. It's wireless and easy to use. New Smart Relief from Icy Hot. No appointment necessary. When muscle aches or arthritis pain grip you, break the grip with odor-free Aspercream. Maximum strength medicine clinically proven to relieve muscle and joint pain fast with no odor. So all you notice is relief. Aspercream. Break the grip of pain interest for 12 months. So call 888-4-CHAMPION today because every home needs a champion. 7 a.m. on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 84 degrees with thunderstorms in the area. Today, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High 85. Rainfall may reach one inch. Tonight, variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms. Low 73. Chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook. A big advance for hurricane research this week. NOAA, for the first time, deployed an unmanned drone into a hurricane. We spoke with one of the researchers who flew into Hurricane Edward out in the Atlantic, and he says the data the drone collects should help forecasters better predict intensity of hurricanes.
It, it does sound a little bit science fiction like, uh, especially when the, the graphic is showing now and how it uh, it deploys. It comes out in a tube and then it sprouts the wings there and and uh, eventually uh, goes on its own. But due to the severe safety risks, we really can't get down very very low. So, uh, but it's critical to get down there because that is really where the rubber meets the road, so to speak. And we have the strongest winds, um, and we also have where the energy is transferred from the ocean to the atmosphere and allows the system to develop or intensify. Devices like this can really help us do that. All right, it is time now for the tropical update. Dr. Greg Postel is in the lab tro tracking tropical storm Polo. That's exactly right, Viv. Let's look at it right now. It's a 70 mile per hour tropical storm kind of messing around right now in the same place that Odile was. Good news is this time around, I think it's going to largely miss Baja, but still bring a few impacts that way. Right now, about 150 miles to the west southwest there of uh, Los Cabos, Mexico. And there, here it is. We're going to model this out and show you where it's going to go. And watch, you can see those greens are the rain showers and some of the reds and the yellows, the heavier ones. There probably will be some gusty winds scraping by Cabo San Lucas by about, say, 1030 or so tomorrow morning before everything begins to head on way out in the open. Pacific where the water is cooler and the atmosphere becomes less and less supportive. You can kind of see it like that disintegrating before your eyes. That's good news. So on its way out to the ocean probably early next week. Now you want to know what the probabilities of seeing tropical storm force winds are. They're not real high even in the southern tip of Baja. See those two great uh, shades of green? Those are respectively five and ten percent chance of seeing sustained tropical storm force winds which is a sustained wind over 39 miles per hour. So even that is at the low end of the probability scale. So they're likely to get away with it pretty cleanly, but still, because there's a chance, we do have tropical storm watches there uh, for that area shaded in yellow. So that's good news. They don't need another tropical cyclone, a close encounter with one, and this time it looks like they won't have that. But as this thing moves out, I put the ocean water on here because this is really cool. Uh, the water gets a lot cooler out here, and when it does, you tend to lose the energy that these uh, systems need to survive and grow. So. As it heads into the cooler waters, it's going to weaken, and you can see that reflected in the cone right there by early next week, probably just a remnant low with some clouds swirling around like that in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and then it's history. Then we can close the door on Polo. Then let's now quick take a look at Tropical Storm Edward. This is in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Good news here is that is in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, right? It's 45 miles per hour on the uh, wind scale. You won't know where the center is unless I tell you, I don't think. There. That's where it is. The low clouds are swirling around. There are hardly any thunderstorms with it. It has basically lost all of its structure uh, as a tropical entity, and we're left with a low cloud swirl spinning around in the middle of nowhere. It probably is uh, interrupting some of the fish. Uh, they might not like the higher waves. I don't know. I haven't talked to many of them lately, but the idea is that nobody really has to worry about this anytime soon. That's good news. Kyla, back to you. It certainly is, and the fish will be okay, right? Well, they'll be all right. Hey, thousands were trapped in Cabo San Lucas for days after Odile made landfall. Many have returned to the U.S., but others are still looking for ways to get home. Storm chaser Josh Morgerman was among those able to get out of Mexico, but take a look at this. The journey was not easy. The airport was just totally leveled, like the, the control tower gone, the terminal blown down, so it was like, okay, uh, that airport is gone. Just like, just totally collapsed on that building, another uh, big store over there blown down. Uh, this city looks like a war zone, and we're just trying to find our way out now. So we got up to La Paz, a lot of other people had the same idea as us, and it was just basically loaded with uh, American and uh, foreign tourists desperately trying to get out. It does not look good. A desperate attempt to get handwritten tickets to get to Tijuana. It's just a mob. A lot of tourist families with kids uh, stuck in that airport for 24, 48 hours, sleeping on the floor. Getting pretty ugly uh, when we uh, when we got out of there, uh, you know. And we just we just hope that it, that uh, you know everyone's getting out because it just it just became an increasingly dire situation. Oh. Well, Odile isn't over yet. Yeah, it's a storm that won't go away. And next up, we'll show you what parts of Texas are doing dealing with Odile's remnants. 
All right, guys, let's huddle up here and talk probiotics. For digestive health? Yes, and did you know that TrueBiotics is a daily probiotic that helps in two ways. It supports digestive and immune health by working in your gut, where 70% of your immune system lives. Try TrueBiotics today. You swore you'd never do it. Trading in your sporty little two-door for a minivan? But here you are, counting cup holders and captain's chairs. Getting in. Not to worry. Allstate can help you save an average of $3,000 on a new car. Let an Allstate agent surprise you by helping you get a deal on the car you might not want, but really need. Call 877-279-9200 now. The car seat, the baby booties, and ointments you've never heard of. It all adds up. That's where the good hands can help. Now Allstate can help you save 20% or more on a new car seat. So you have a little extra for all the extras. I think you're in there nice and safe. Talk to an Allstate agent and start saving today. Talking to the car seat? Mm-hmm. And if you call right now, you can get two safe driving bonus checks a year for driving safe. Only from Allstate. Just a few more ways the good hands are doing more than ever before. Call 877-279-9200 now. When we say the all-new Chrysler 200 is all new, we mean it. We used the latest tools and built a new state-of-the-art manufacturing plant. We gave it new smart technology. We challenged conventional thinking with a more intuitive design. And we set new expectations of what an American sedan can be. The all-new Chrysler 200, America's import. There are two reasons why I need to keep an eye on my health. Oh. That's why I take Metabiotic, a daily probiotic. With 70% of your immune system in your gut, new multi-health Metabiotic with Bioactive 12 helps maintain digestive balance and is proven to help support a healthy immune system. I take care of myself so I can take care of them. <laughs> Experience the Meta Effect with our new multi-health wellness line and see how one small change can lead to good things. People all over the world know us, but they don't yet know we're a family. We're right where you need us. At the next job, next adventure, or at the next exit. Helping you explore super destinations and do everything under the sun. Twelve brands, more hotels than anyone else in the world. So wherever you want to be, whatever you want to do, chances are we're already there. Save up to 25% and earn bonus points when you book at WyndhamRewards.com. Currently in our area, 84 degrees with thunderstorms in the area. Today, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High, 85. Rainfall may reach one inch. Tonight, variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms. Low, 73. Chance of rain, 60%. Here's our seven-day outlook. the buzz on Fat Guys in the Woods, the Weather Channel's hit survival series is getting bigger and bigger. Victory! A new episode Sunday night at 10 on the Weather Channel. Welcome back to Weather Center Live on the Weather Channel. I'm Vivian Brown. Now, parts of Texas are underwater once again. Let's get right to Kyla for the latest on the state's double dose of heavy rain. Kyla? Yeah, if you're wondering what 6 to 10 inches of rain looks like in Houston, take a look at this. 
This is an apartment complex that's been inundated by water. Unbelievable. You see the bus stop there. You know, you can't see the road at all. That's what they've been dealing with. Unfortunately, as we've rolled through yesterday and today, Houston has just gotten hammered by rain. Now we do still have some of that rain coming down now as that stormy weather continues. But the good news is some of the heavier showers seem to have moved out. But the flooding still continues. And that stormy weather with you today and also a bit tomorrow, Texas. So unfortunately, we've got two things at play here. The upper disturbance, Odile, the remnants of that storm and then Gulf moisture that's also flowing in. So we're really getting all of that moisture coming from two directions. That's why we get this. These numbers, six to 10 inches in Northeast Houston, four to seven in Southeast Houston. And you can bet that that has had a devastating effect on the road. So take a look at the radar right now. And again, you can kind of see where the, the yellows and the oranges have started to ramp down. So we're starting to see just the lighter greens as that rain does start to track through. So finally, it's been three hours I've been talking about this, right? And I'm finally giving you a little bit of good news. As you can see those, we head across the afternoon. It really is going to continue with those hit or miss storms. And so that's the story that we don't quite kick it today. And also tomorrow afternoon, we could see some more. Now take a look at West Texas. They too have been inundated with flooding. Pecos, you can see those green boxes around where you are. That's the flash flood warnings that are up still. And here's why we've had 7.6 inches of rain in about two days. That's a 48 hour rain total there near Pecos and also near Lubbock. You can see when you get over a half a foot of rain, you're going to get trouble quickly. Those scattered thunderstorms will continue today all the way from Amarillo down to San Antonio over to Houston as we get into tomorrow. The pattern not quite letting go yet. It's really going to be Sunday when we see some relief and we could see an additional three to five inches of rain in the panhandle of Texas as you can see up to an inch down in Houston. And this is where the flood flat flash flood watches are up for Houston down to Palacios also Amarillo right down to Midland that does include those of you in Lubbock as well. So just hang in there everybody. Things will start to improve for us as we head towards the weekend. Yeah, Saturday's still going to be a little bit of trouble, but by Sunday, the sun will be coming out. We'll start that cleanup much better. Vivian. All right, well, let's talk more about the Gulf of Mexico, mainly the Eastern Gulf, because we've been watching an area of low pressure. And even as you cross over the peninsula of Florida into the extreme southwestern Atlantic, you'll look at the coastal areas of South Carolina. Myrtle Beach is very windy right now. And look at the waves. They are a little choppy. You know, at one point earlier this morning, the National Weather the uh, Hurricane Center actually did give this area of low pressure a chance of becoming a more developed tropical system, but it has weakened quite a bit in terms of the infrastructure, but you can see the influx of moisture, heavy rain coming in for the west coast of Florida. Okay, let's bring in Dr. Greg Postel to talk more about why this system really didn't become more organized. It looks pretty impressive on radar, Dr. Y Greg. Yeah, Viv, there are some showers and thunderstorms in the Gulf of Mexico, but those are along a front with very strong winds aloft still in place so I don't expect much out of this in terms of tropical development but it could be a generic low pressure that moves up the coast and brings rain let's have a look at the map real quick and I can show you that clouds are gathering right here near this old frontal zone and sometimes that can trigger tropical development but I don't think it's going to happen this time. What we've got is instead just a broad area of low pressure that's going to be moving northward, paralleling the coast tomorrow, and probably bringing some rain to the Carolinas and Georgia coast into perhaps early Sunday, but then everything moves out later in the day on Sunday. Good news there, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Dr. Postel. Escape from Baja. You've heard about American tourists trying to evacuate. Well, we found an American who lives in Cabo San Lucas trying to do the same with her family. Kylie Broughton takes us through the storm in her own words. The anticipation is the worst part, and then, boy, when when that storm reared its ugly head, it just didn't stop. You know, I'm originally from the Midwest and have been through tornadoes and thunderstorms and all that nonsense. And I'll be honest with you, I have never in all of my life been more afraid. Because remember, we're in Cabo, so we all have beautiful views. So we have big windows and sliding doors and all of that fun stuff. We moved our children to the one room that had we thought was the most secure window, and that scared us at one point in the middle of the night, so we moved to another room, and then after we were in that room, we were thinking, okay, well, where, where can we even go next? So we lost a sliding door. Um, the front doors blew open, so we had several inches of rain and debris in the family room, and we lost another window and another door upstairs. So, But I mean, quite honestly, no woe is me anything. There have been people who, who have no homes. They have no homes there. I was walking, we were doing our first ride around town the Monday afterwards, and I saw the woman who had this amazing, incredible interior design store, and she just stood there and she was crying. Los Cabos is unlike any other city. 
you know, when you come from a larger city in the States or anywhere, there is the evening news. There, there, there's just ways of being informed. And here it's just different. We're in a different world. We're in a different country. And there is no evening news. So a lot of the people that live around here weren't able to, probably weren't able to prepare as much as they needed to. Wherever I was going Sunday morning, I was saying, please go home. And they were saying, no, it's not going to be that bad. It's a little bit of rain. But that was one of the problems with the local community. There was no way to be prepared. But we have people who live in, you know, with, with thatch roofs, with palapa roofs. So what are they going to do when their grass roof blows away? I can see how post-traumatic stress disorder actually exists because you're so on edge, you're so nervous. You just want to take care of your family and you want to make sure everyone's okay. Meanwhile, you know, you're holding it together because you're really, you're really not sure you're going to make it. All right. Well, as you just heard, vacationers and residents who lived through Hurricane Odile's wrath in Cabo San Lucas won't soon forget it. But there have been other hurricanes to strike the area and with disastrous results. Meteorologists Nick Walker and Reynolds Wolf explain. The scenes of devastation are horrific in Cabo San Lucas. Much of the popular Mexican resort now in shambles, with locals trying to recover from Odile's nightmare and visitors trying to leave it behind. So happy to be home. So, so happy to see my girls. They're so happy to be out of there, you know. It's just Tuesday, too. I mean, it seemed like a, you know, it seemed like we were there forever. Such a strong hurricane is rare for the Baja Peninsula, but southern Baja has endured this kind of weather disaster before. Meteorologist Nick Walker has the breakdown. In recorded history, there have been only two other hurricanes to rival Odile's intensity at landfall in the Baja Peninsula. One was 1967's Hurricane Olivia. It actually made landfall twice, once as a tropical storm from the west, then strengthening as it moved into the Gulf of California and turning back and striking from the east as a major hurricane. Like Odile, its winds were said to be 125 miles per hour. Another major hurricane to strike southern Baja was Kiko in 1989. It had winds of 120 miles per hour, but fortunately, Cabo San Lucas avoided a direct hit. This is what captured the world's attention in the Pacific in 1941. Here is the actual bombing of the mighty USS Arizona. But less than three months before the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, eyes were on the Pacific for a very different reason more hurricane destruction in Cabo San Lucas. The so-called 1941 Cabo San Lucas hurricane obliterated much of Cabo, La Paz, and wiped two other villages off the map. But this latest hurricane is one more cruel reminder that Cabo San Lucas can be not only a tropical paradise, but also a tropical target. For the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Reynolds Wolf. All right. Well, we thought it would never get here, but it's <laughs> finally Friday. Friday. <laughs> and that means it's time to go to the purest form of football. Next up, Friday Night Lightning takes us to Prattville, Alabama, a small town that lives for its high school team. Currently in our area, 80 degrees with a thunderstorm. This afternoon, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High 85. Rainfall near an inch. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms. Low 73. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook. Can you do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Get to a better state. 
Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Sometimes the best used car on the road is the one you're still using. Right now, get $50 off a standard brake service, including a lifetime parts guarantee at Firestone Complete Auto Care. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Sweet, spicy, savory. Enjoy it all, because Red Lobster's one and only endless shrimp is now. Endless choices, endless variety. Kick it up with our spicy new wood-grilled sriracha shrimp. And it's back. Parmesan crusted shrimp scampi. The year's largest variety of shrimp flavors. So many to explore. As much as you like, any way you like, endless shrimp is here. But not for long. So hurry in and see food differently. Freshening, cooling crystals. Icebreakers. Let's do some fancy footwork. Tap into new territory with style. Step up the savings and learn some new moves. Yeah, let's tango. Here, here, even here. Then, let's take a bow. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Modern tile, major savings. 12 by 24 ceramic tile is now just 148 per square foot. Alaska. It's the place you've always dreamed of. Where the ordinary is simply extraordinary. And the views, like your memories, go on forever. When was the last time a vacation took your breath away? Alaska. Begin your adventure at alaskabeyondyourdreams.com. Sometimes our co-pilots lead us. They inspire us to try new things, to push our boundaries, and live life to the fullest. At Petco, we like to do the same for our pets. It's why we're so selective about the food we offer, like Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. Now 10% off entire stock for a limited time. Because when our companions live well, so do we. Petco, the power of together. What makes Lay's Kitchen different from the rest? We pride ourselves on bold, authentic flavors with the finest ingredients. Our vegetables are farm-grown and prepared with the passion they deserve. Tangy peppers unite with the sweetness of tomatoes and onions to create our exquisite mesquite barbecue flavor. The satisfying crunch and rich flavors of Lay's Kettle Cooked Chips. One taste and you're in love. As we continue our series 12 Towns, 12 weeks, we head south to Prattville, Alabama. Did you know that Prattville was listed as one of the top 10 best high school football towns in America by college stats? Kind of a nice honor. But as Jim Cantori tells us, it wasn't always that way. About the middle of July when one of those afternoon showers come through and you can feel a nip in the air. And your baseball team's in last place and you say, oh man, it's, it's football time. Prattville, Alabama, a slice of Americana just outside of Montgomery. Very few remnants remain of the EF3 tornado that cut through here six years ago. What you can see is the town's love for football. Come Friday night, all eyes turn to Prattville High School, home of the Prattville Lions. Push, push, push. It's so strong within the town how much they love football. It's just amazing. I've been in the playoffs before where we show up at a playoff game and we have more fans than the home team in a playoff game. Each week you'll see pep rallies, posters of opposing players, and busloads of fans. They love football in this town. They always have. But few love it more than longtime sports writer and statistician Jimmy White. No, 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 no. There's a lot of them that love football as much as I do. It's just that I've been with him so much. Jimmy never played sports, but he's recorded the stats for the Lions for more than 60 of their 100 seasons. 
Jimmy White, he's been he's been on the sidelines forever. Uh, I can remember him being on our sidelines when I played and even before that. I love to be a part of like a big team and like like on Friday nights like I can care less, you know, how many catches I get. As long as we win, that's all I'm happy about. For 70 years, the state championship had eluded the Prattville Lions until 1984. And we walked out on that field, and this was the first Saturday in December, and it was like it was springtime. The sun was out, and it was beautiful. It wasn't cold or nothing. I said, this is our day, and we won 17 to 7. And at the time we got back to Prattville, downtown Prattville looked like it had snowed. There was so much confetti and signs all over it. But state champs. <laughs> was a good time. First one. The first one. Since then, the Lions have won four more state championships. And Jimmy is still on the sidelines recording their stats. It's a nostalgic feeling, really and truly. I, to, to watch and I was still a kid playing, I said, golly, I remember his daddy playing. And it makes you realize the uh, shortness of life. Makes you feel a little bit happy. It looked like you accomplished something. All those years has been great to be for Prattville. And we certainly wish the Lions well. And, of course, uh, you're going to see the forecast for the top 25 high school teams today on our ticker at the bottom of the screen. But take a look at the forecast for tonight for this game as the Red Devils and the Lions get down to business. 77 degrees, nice football weather, just a light breeze out of the east, about six miles per hour. Vivian, I think that's what you call perfect. Oh, absolutely perfect. <laughs> Thanks very much, Kyla. Now over to the Midwest where it's shaping up to be another stormy weekend, unfortunately for you, Chicago. Right now we have beautiful conditions though in Chi-Town a fair amount of sunshine you can see a little sun peeking through the tall buildings on Michigan Avenue but unfortunately we are anticipating things to be going downhill over the next 24 hours not only Chicago but much of the Midwest in fact starting tonight in Minneapolis the stormy conditions will develop you can see the jet stream it's flowing across the northern tier of the country but it's the southerly winds at the surface that's bringing in all of the moisture pretty far north here into the upper Midwestern region. And then there's the surface cold front as it slices through. Thunderstorms are expected throughout the day today, certainly during the evening hours and all tomorrow. We'll be watching anywhere from Chicago and Green Bay over to the Detroit area. The storminess will develop across this region. In fact, we're not only talking about hail, high winds and heavy rain, but even the threat of tornadoes, say, come uh, uh, the, the countdown for this region and we'll keep you updated. Kyla? Well, your tropical update is next. Folks in Baja, California, keeping a wary eye on the sky after Odile. We'll have the latest track for Tropical Storm Polo. Sir, we're going to need you on the runway. Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Average work pants versus a giant angry beaver. Duluth trading fire hose work pants versus a giant angry beaver. <laughs> Duluth trading fire hose work pants. Tougher than an angry beaver's teeth. Get a pair. Only at DuluthTrading.com. I'm Creek Stewart, Weather Channel survival expert. Every Sunday night, we're taking three regular guys deep into the woods. Are you serious? Where we'll teach them not just to survive. So make fire. But how to truly live. Look at this caveman. Show yourself what you're made of on Weather Channel Survival Sundays. At 9, it's So You Think You'd Survive. Then at 10, Fat Guys in the Woods. Every Sunday night on the Weather Channel. Are you ready? Off the couch, into the weather. Currently in our area, 80 degrees with a thunderstorm.
this afternoon. Thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High 85. Rainfall near an inch. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms. Low 73. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook. our new turkey cranberry flatbread before we craft it into a sandwich. The amazingly tender roasted turkey, always raised without antibiotics. The zesty cranberry mustarda. The freshly baked flatbread. But here's what you don't always see. The care and attention that goes into it. Because what matters most is the simple delicious ingredients that make up the whole delicious meal made just for you. And this is our turkey cranberry flatbread sandwich paired perfectly with our autumn squash soup. Only at Panera Bread. Cool down with an iced coffee from Panera Bread. Jackie's heart attack didn't come with a warning. Today, her doctor has her on a bare aspirin regimen to help reduce the risk of another one. If you've had a heart attack, be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. There's nothing I can't reach in my Subaru. Introducing the all-new Subaru Outback. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. People all over the world know us, but they don't yet know we're a family. We're right where you need us. At the next job, next adventure, or at the next exit. Helping you explore super destinations and do everything under the sun. 12 brands, more hotels than anyone else in the world. So wherever you want to be, whatever you want to do, chances are we're already there. Save up to 25% and earn bonus points when you book at WyndhamRewards.com. I'm sorry for your loss. Still doesn't feel real. Our time together was so short. Well, since you have Progressive's total loss coverage, we were able to replace your total bike with a brand new one. The tank, the exhaust. Well, she looks just like Roxy. You know, I bet she's in a better place now. I know she is. I feel it in my heart. Get luxury for less at Alpacker Lincoln. Enjoy incredible savings on Lincoln's best-selling models. Like the all-new 2015 Lincoln MKC. Just $3.19 a month. Or a new 2014 Lincoln MKX. Just $3.99 a month. Enjoy luxury for less with bottom-line windshield pricing. Only at Alpacker Lincoln on Military Trail. And remember... Before you buy Price Packer. Fact. 70% of Americans have at least one missing tooth. When that tooth is not replaced, the jawbone deteriorates. Dental implants are a long-term solution that stimulates natural bone growth and slows down the progression of bone loss. Only dental implants provide the form and function of natural teeth. Ceta Dental can help you restore your natural smile. Call today to see if you are a candidate for implants. Ceta Smile, Ceta Difference, Ceta Dental. All items are shipped to you for just $2 flat. NoMoreRock.com. Everything you love for less. Mondays, only the Weather Channel takes you this far. Inside a hurricane. Hurricane 360, Mondays at 9, only on the Weather Channel. Tropical storm Fung Wong is unleashing torrents of rain over the northern Philippines. Take a look at this right now, and you can see all of that water just rushing in. People having to make their way around. Boy, they said that in some spots, the water was up to almost neck level, and you can really see that as uh, you see this little tiny vehicle trying to make its way by. I tell you what, rough time for them, and you know all of that is now heading towards Japan, so they're keeping an eye on it for it there. All right, so let's bring in our hurricane uh, specialist, and that would be Dr. Greg Postel. He's manning the uh, lab at this hour to give us the very latest. Dr. Greg. Viv and Kyla, thank you very much. Let's look at uh, what's going on across uh, our part of the world, including the Pacific and the Atlantic. We've got some circles out there. Let's start with Tropical Storm Polo on this map. 
map, you can see it's one of those areas we're highlighting as well as Tropical Storm Edward in the middle of the Atlantic and a new little swirly coming off of Africa a long way from the United States. But again, let's start with Polo right there. You might think I've seen this picture before and you'd be right because not long ago we saw Odile roughly in the same place and before that uh, Norbert. But this one is going to take a separate, separate track. It's a 70 mile per hour tropical storm right now. It looks fairly impressive on the satellite pictures with some bright colors there indicating some strong thunderstorms, but this one is likely going to, most of it anyway, miss Cabo San Lucas and the southern part of the Baja. Instead, it's going to head out in that direction, not go that way. That's excellent news for Cabo. However, they could overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning experience some gusty winds with some showers as this thing slides by off toward the west and southwest on its way out into the distant Pacific Ocean where it will likely disintegrate over cooler waters and in an atmosphere that won't support it otherwise. Here's the cone from the the hurricane center you can see on its westward way it weakens and then that will be it polo will be history no more with that let's look now at tropical storm edward over the central north atlantic you've got basically a low level cloud swirl <laughs> that's where the center is guys you wouldn't know it really but uh you can see on the visible satellite pictures, what's left of it is this sort of swirly out here in the low clouds. These are stratus clouds moving around counterclockwise in a, in a fashion like that, but there's hardly any thunderstorms with it anymore. This is a very weak, unorganized tropical system that is going to likely be doing a loop-de-loop -loop in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean thanks to big old high pressure aloft that is going to circle it around that way. But it's going to stay out in the middle of the ocean and not impact the U.S. Impact in the U.S. right now is some showers and thunderstorms moving into the Florida Peninsula, guys. This is along an old front zone that is trying to gather some thunderstorms along it and we'll be watching it but tropical development here over the next couple of days is not likely instead what we're going to see I think is generic low pressure move up the coast skirt it by bring some showers perhaps to the coastal locations of North and South Carolina maybe even Georgia on Saturday but by Sunday guys it should be long gone tropical development not likely but still impactful weather with perhaps two to three inches along the coast of rain and then maybe a little bit less up there in North Carolina again Sunday it looks much better weather, uh, certainly for the beaches. Guys, back to you. All right, thanks very mm -hmm. much, Dr. Postel. Well, you know what? They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Aha, uh -huh, and if that's the case, <laughs> boy, oh boy, we're about to give you a whole bunch of words, everybody. That's right, because it is time now for our top five photos of the week, and this is number five. Check out this Texas-sized storm cloud, and you know it has to be big, right? It was shot yesterday near Sealy, just west of Houston. It was a tornado-warned storm, meaning a warning was out on it, but reports uh, no touchdowns. Hey, that's good news there. Mm -hmm. Let's look at number four because it's gorgeous. I love a sunset in the <laughs> desert. And this one is Arizona shot last night in Buckeye, west of Phoenix. Look closely, you can see a big rain shaft there as that starts to lower down. Well, let's stay in the beautiful state of Arizona near the town of Bisbee. HTO from Odile contributed to this gorgeous waterfall shot. Very nice. Oh, you think that's nice? I got another one for you. Let's go to outer space. Yeah, look at this shot from the International Space Station. They were flying by Baja, California. This one was taken by astronaut Reed Wiseman. All right, but what about another one from the <laughs> International Space Station earlier this week? An awesome shot of the Aurora, okay? Beautiful. This is by German astronaut Alexander Gerst. Hey, you can send us your photos or videos anytime by going to weather.com slash photos or upload them to our wonderful app. All Have right. a great day, everybody. Currently in our area, 85 degrees with a thunderstorm. This afternoon, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High 85. Rainfall near an inch. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms. Low 73. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook.
days now since a hurricane slammed Cabo San Lucas in Mexico. We're just now getting an idea of what it's like to be there in the aftermath. It's game day in America. Time for Friday Night Lightning on the Weather Channel. Six years since a devastating tornado, we head back to a small Alabama town with a big high school football team. It's amazing to see how this team brings the town together. And something we've never seen lurking in the deep blue sea. Look out, Loch Ness Monster. This thing's made today's top five videos. From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you're watching Weather Center Live. Well, there's a lot to talk about in the hour. The escape from Baja, Friday night lightning, and that new sea creature. I'm Dave Schwartz. I'm Bonnie Schneider in for Alex today. We're going to talk about all of that after today's big story. Unfortunately, it's a mess today in Texas, and a lot of that comes from the same storm that worked its way across Mexico this past Sunday. We're going to go live now to Houston from our affiliate KPRC. And unfortunately, it looks like we're going to see some things get worse before they get better there. Traffic, though, flowing nice. But Dave, I think we're going to see a lot of rain for this portion of Texas in the coming days. But for today, we're okay. We have seen the worst. We have seen the worst. And I'll tell you, it's getting brighter out there and it is a pleasure. What a morning rush hour today. Ugh. You know, there's one good thing about all this. The drought. And Texas was the center of the drought for a long time. Now California is. The drought has been mitigated quite a bit. 13% of the state now, northwest Texas only, is under extreme drought. And in Houston, we don't have a drought going on. I'm telling you what. Here in San Antonio, or just north of San Antonio in the hill country, we still have a flood warning in effect also here in, in west Texas. But these little areas of vorticity and you can see the spin are weakening just a little bit and quite often we see that in the afternoon they can really perk up at night and in the morning but still some heavy rain just west of midland ward and winkler county still under a warning they've had almost 10 inches of rain out here in far west texas this is all kind of remnants of the moisture that came up with that hurricane Odile into northwest Mexico coming up and over a ridge and a couple of disturbances, one here and one here. And as you can see, the heavy rain in Houston is over. We should, should be good for the rest of the day. Mostly cloudy, but the sun is starting to break through. What a pleasure. Sprinkles in Galveston. The heavy rain now is way offshore. What a morning. Rainfall totals here, almost five inches uh, on the southwest side of Galveston, especially. Mm. Wow, the frontal boundary, winds coming in off the Gulf of Mexico, flowing upslope. That has exacerbated the, the uh, rainfall here in West Texas. So it's been rough. Now, have you ever heard of the I-35 curse? Well, people in Austin, Texas sure have. In less than 10 minutes, we'll explain what it is and why science may actually prove it to be true. Bonnie? Look forward to learning about that. Well, all of the rain that's inundating parts of Texas comes from the remnants of Odeal. Brand new video to show you as we're just getting communication back just now with people who are stranded in Mexico. Take a look. You can see kind of riding around the area, people are getting a look at the damage that Odeal caused. Now, this is in La Paz, Mexico. So that's about two hours north of Cabo San Lucas. So the devastation, incredible. Communication just shut down from the area due to the storm for quite some time. Air evacuations continue today out of Baja, California. Mexico's tourism secretary says 8,000 people were flown out of the area yesterday. At the height of the storm, there were about 30,000 tourists visiting Cabo when Odile hit. Water, electricity, phone service still out from much of the peninsula. The hope is that all of this will be restored by the end of the weekend. But still, for thousands, still trying to get out of the area, it's been very frustrating. No more, no more tomorrow. It's a very intense situation for all of the people who just wanted to 
have a vacation. We're going to show you more of what they're going through a little later this half hour. Now, Baja California may not be done with the tropical weather yet. There's a new storm named Polo, and it's headed that way this weekend. Dr. Greg Postel is tracking it for us in the lab. And uh, Dr. Postel, do we have to be concerned that Polo is going to take a similar track to Odile? No, you know, that's a good question. The answer is no, we don't. It's going to take a different track, but still may bring some impacts in terms of maybe some showers on its outer edges and maybe some gusty winds, but really nothing like what we saw with Odile. Let's have a look at the latest advisory from the hurricane center on tropical storm polo a couple of things a this is not nearly as strong as odile was and and b as i said earlier it's going to take a different track so those are two good pieces of information 70 mile per hour tropical storm on a course that is going to eventually move it toward the west northwest not the northwest which means it's going that way not that way so let's have a look at this and how the models think it's going to evolve over the next say 24 hours tomorrow morning there may be some scattered showers and uh, some gusty winds just on the edge of Polo skirting through Southern Baja, but that might last a couple of hours. And then that's basically it as this thing heads over cooler waters and into an atmosphere that won't support uh, its survival, really, because you can see the cone from the Hurricane Center. Has it taken that westward track and then killing it off pretty quickly? You can see that by early next week, it's a 35 mile per hour tropical depression and then a remnant low swirling out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean soon thereafter. So let's now turn our attention to the Atlantic side. We have Tropical Storm Edward right there, which is hard to see on the infrared satellite pictures, which is a, a satellite picture designed to show you thunderstorms. And right near the circulation of Edward, there aren't any. It's a 45 mile per hour low cloud swirl in some relatively cool waters that's going to continue moving in a weird course actually like that around a high pressure system aloft that's going to take this thing in a loop to loop, I think, but keep it way out to sea. Closer to home, we got a lot of showers and thunderstorms just off the Florida coast there. This is going to be a rainy time of it tonight and tomorrow along that zone and into the southeast thanks to an old frontal zone that's hanging out there and some unsettled weather. Good news here with this one, tropical development is unlikely in this area. We think just a generic low pressure system is going to ride up that front and bring some showers to the Carolinas over the weekend, particularly Saturday by Sunday. It's all out to see. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Dr. Bostell. Ahead on Weather Center Live, have you ever heard of the I-35 curse? Well, many Texans swear it's true, and now science may support their claim. We'll explain after your local on the 8th. Sir, we're going to need you on the runway. Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Fruit with a cool finish. Fruit on one side, cool on the other. Icebreakers Duo, a fruity cool way to break the ice. Sometimes our co-pilots lead us. They inspire us to try new things, to push our boundaries and live life to the fullest. At Petco, we like to do the same for our pets. It's why we're so selective about the food we offer, like Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. Now 10% off entire stock for a limited time. Because when our companions live well, so do we. Petco, the power of together. and a credit card. We'll go buy you some damn clothes. The Force returns Monday, 8, 7 Central, followed by the premiere of The Blacklist on NBC. Currently in our area, 85 degrees with a thunderstorm. This afternoon, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High 85. Rainfall near an inch. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms. Low 73. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook. the 
buzz on Fat Guys in the Woods, the Weather Channel's hit survival series is getting bigger and bigger. A new episode Sunday night at 10 on the Weather Channel. You know our brands, but you may not know. We're a family. 12 brands, more hotels than anyone else in the world. Like Days In, where you can do everything under the sun. Save up to 15% and earn bonus points when you book at WyndhamRewards.com. I get goosebumps when I find a low price. I let him know every time I save a dollar. Every time. Now there's a tool made for you. Introducing Savings Catcher from Walmart. It compares prices to top stores in your area. No more driving all over town. If there's a lower advertised price, Walmart will give you the difference on an e-gift card. Oh, money! <laughs> every penny counts. Yep. Try the Savings Catcher for yourself. Go to walmart.com slash savings catcher and enter your receipt. Save money, live better. Walmart. Cooper engineers its tires not just for performance, but real life performance. So before you get in, get going. Get gone. You need to get a tire that gets you. Because life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. Buy four qualifying Cooper tires and get up to a $70 prepaid card by mail. See retailer for details. What if there was a credit card where the reward was that new car smell and the freedom of the open road? A card that gave you that I'm 16 and just got my first car feeling. Presenting the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Redeem earnings toward part or even all of a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac with no limits. So every time you use it, you're not just shopping for goods. You're shopping for something great. Learn more at buypowercard.com. Heavy rain leads to flash flooding in Houston right now. Expect many roads to be covered with standing water this afternoon. We've even heard reports of school buses having to turn around and change their route due to high water. You know, it's been a rough go of it so far this morning in Houston, Texas. It's getting a little better there now. However, Austin, Texas, still watching out for flooding. Check this out. We have a flash flood warning. Now, this is areas further to the west of the Austin area, but this warning goes until 2 o'clock local time. And it's not the only warning. Morning, we're keeping an eye on. You can see we have other ones in other parts of the state. Into Midland, Texas, we're also looking at the threat for heavy rain. It's part of a more widespread system that will bring nasty weather to the region throughout the weekend. So we are watching out for that. We have heavy amounts of accumulation of rain. Unfortunately, Dave, this problem is going to get worse before it gets better over the weekend. That's true. There's a chance of a repeat performance. Now, Austin, Texas is a three-hour drive west of Houston, and it's home to an interesting weather myth. Now, while myths and legends are common in the weather world, this one may actually have the science to support it. Carl Parker explains the I-35 curse. Floodwaters ripped through Austin, Texas this week, just like they did in 2013 and 2011. You'd think that would be good news for a city fighting their worst drought in recorded history. We're just that one big rainstorm away and everything will be okay. But you'd be wrong. This water is long gone. The majority of that water all drained into the Colorado River here in Austin and then has gone downstream. It's headed toward the Gulf of Mexico. Locals call it the I-35 curse. Many times we'll see storms develop along the I-35 corridor, along the escarpment, and then track to the east. So areas from I-35 eastward tend to get a lot of rain, where areas to the west don't get as much. Austin needs that rain to fall west of I-35 and fill their lakes. When it falls to the east of 35, it's gone. I think one of the images that's most scary to me is the, uh, the trickle of flow that's coming into Buchanan that literally is the water supply for a million people. But is there really a curse? John Nielsen Gammon is the Texas state climatologist. That's the place where basically uh, the terrain in Texas starts becoming interesting. You go from fairly flat coastal plains to uh, what we call the Texas Hill Country. And so there's an extra bit of uplift for any air that's moving from the southeast. The I-35 corridor really parallels what's called the Balcones Escarpment, and that's sort of a gentle rise in the landscape of about 300 to 500 feet. 500 feet separating millions of people from valuable drinking water. Now, it's hard to argue with the science and the results. Now, this is the heavy rain event Thursday. You can see I-35 running through Austin and 
just how much rain fell east of the interstate. Well, to add insult to injury, let's zoom in. Those dark orange shades are the heaviest rain just south of drought-stricken Lake Travis. Right now, the majority of that rainwater is quickly making its way to the Gulf of Mexico and not to the taps of the people in Austin. So you see, if it rains south and east of Austin, not a drop gets into their reservoir where they need it. The heaviest rain generally east of I-35. I-35 from Dallas all the way to San Antonio, heaviest rain here, lightest rains off to the west. That is our map, at least for rainfall from January 1st to now. The I-35 myth. More heavy rain is expected far west Texas this weekend. The dueler tires on Terrence Knighton's truck are engineered to be Bridgestone's best SUV tires. And now they have an 80,000 mile treadwear warranty. Guess we're gonna be here a while. First time on a treadmill? What are you saying? I'm just saying. With an 80,000 mile tread wear warranty, the Dueler tires are Bridgestone's best SUV tires. Go to BridgestoneTire.com to find a Bridgestone dealer near you. Brought to you by the new Bridgestone DriveGuard tire. Continue your journey. Sir, we're gonna need you on the runway. Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. rates for great rides. Geico Motorcycle. See how much you could save. Shake it through. Sensitive bladder? Never miss a chance to dance just because you happen to sprinkle a little tinkle. Introducing a revolution in bladder leak protection from the experts in feminine protection. New, always discreet for sensitive bladders. Up to 40% thinner for superior comfort. Absorbs two times more than you may need for dance all you want protection. New, always discreet. Now bladder leaks can feel like no big deal. Because, hey, he happens. Visit alwaysdiscreet.com for coupons and your free sample. I just got charged for my credit score. Again. You should check out Credit Karma. They're like, free. How? Ads. Credit Karma? Yeah. Credit Karma. Really free credit score. This is their life. This is their chance. That's what I love about The Voice. Before the intervention, before I went to rehab, when it got really out of hand, I was calling out of work. I wasn't coming home. My husband and I were arguing. My responsibility to my business, to my clients, and to others just went completely out the door. That's when we knew we had to do something. We needed to all jump in, and my son felt confident that this person could help, and he did. Since her intervention, she is an absolute delight, and I can't stop smiling when I see her. If someone you know is struggling with drug or alcohol addiction, please call or visit us at interventionnow.com. 1-800-580-8776. That's 1-800-580-8776. Or go to wandeck.com today. Every Sunday, a new tale of weather legend. American Supernatural. Promoting October 5th on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 83 degrees with thunderstorms in the area.
this afternoon. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms, low 73. Winds light and variable, chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook. Time for your 20 past the hour tropical update. I'm Dave Schwartz with my friends, Edward, Polo, and Invest 95L. And something moving into Florida. I'll get to that in just a second. Let's start on the west coast of Mexico. This is Polo struggling, sheer at the upper levels, moving from northeast to southwest. Notice the high clouds fanning out in this direction, but nothing much happening here. Just cloudy in Puerto Vallarta. There are tropical storm watches in effect for southern Baja, California, as a precaution. This is a strong tropical storm. This was a uh, hurricane yesterday, but very little difference between the two. Here's the good news for Baja. The forecast by the National Hurricane Center takes it west-northwest. Now, it's stationary now, but we expect it to move west-northwest around the southern edge of a big ridge of high pressure over northern Mexico. And that will take the core of this tropical storm safely south of Cabo, provided this is right. And they all agree on the movement the next couple of days, all right? We could get some tropical storm wind gusts, you know, 35, 40 miles an hour, just barely in there. But that would be it. And some high surf. That's it. Here in Florida, the rain has really picked up now on the West Coast. Fort Myers is only 79 degrees at the present time because of all the rain. Low pressure developing along an old frontal boundary will cross the state. Torrential downpours tonight and tomorrow. And then things will clear up for the weekend and non-tropical system. Hey, here's Tropical Storm Edward. Where is it? Well, it's right here the center of a swirl of low clouds. Winds aloft, blown the tops of them off. That's it. That's a look at your tropical update. Edward, forecast to move southeast, south of the Azores. Your tropical update at 20 past. Bonnie, back to you. Thanks, Dave. Well, here's the latest as thousands try to escape Baja. This is day six of the disaster there. Right now, the U.S. State Department is urging people to get to, to, get to Los Cabos International Airport and wait as long as it takes to get out. Officials are searching for a man that went missing while crossing a swollen creek in Santa Rosalia. Mexico's president is visiting the affected areas and he's stressing the need for public order. Well, it's been five days since Odile made landfall in Cabo San Lucas. Much of the damage of the infra is the, to the infrastructure of the city, so we have a lack of power and cell service. And just for the first time at this point, we're getting incredible video to come out of the devastation there. The most intense moments during the storm are something people say they will never forget. And the days after have been just as harrowing. Storm chaser Josh Morgerman shares his experience from watching the damage first hand inside a hotel to seeing the chaos and confusion for many trying to escape the wrath of Odile. The place is totally crippled. Uh, just no My communication, friend. no gas, no power, no nothing. And uh, American tourists and uh, actually others are desperate. Okay. Actually, a lot of Mexicans as well are desperate to get out of the city. Crazy traffic jams. Very few opportunities. Now we're waiting here in the parking lot of our uh, hotel for taxis that are heading up to La Paz, another city which was hit. Treacherous crossing, hopefully one of the last, but who knows. Our journey to La Paz, uh, we've heard mixed rumors. Some people say it's worse, some people say it's better than here. We'll find out. Whoa, near miss with that power pole. And the roads collapsed here, so fortunately we did not. <laughs> Try to drive on that. La Paz was also hit hard, but not quite as hard because the hurricane had been traveling over land, so we figured it would it didn't take the full force the way uh, Los Cabos did. So we got up to La Paz. A lot of other people had the same idea as us, and it was just basically loaded with uh, American and uh, foreign tourists desperately trying to get out. It does not look good. Desperate attempt to get handwritten tickets to get to Tijuana. It's just a a lot of tourist families with kids uh, stuck in that airport for 24, 48 hours, sleeping on the floor. It's getting out of control now. It was getting 
pretty ugly uh, when we uh, when we got out of there. Uh, you know, we just we just hope that it, that uh, you know everyone's getting out because it just it just became an increasingly dire situation. All those people stranded for so long at the airport. There are going to be so many compelling stories coming out of so. people. You know, we'll have some on here. Obviously, right. you, you'll see them. You'll be reading about them for years, probably. I think one of the hardest things was that you couldn't reach someone there without yeah. the cell service. Yeah. So yeah. That's harrowing. Well, we're getting new looks at the flooding in Houston. That's been our number one hotspot this morning. We'll show you what we're seeing in just a few minutes. Plus, it's time for Friday Night Lightning. In the next 10 minutes, we're going to introduce you to a new team. Lowe's presents how to make your guests think they're at the wrong house. Wow. Told you we're in the wrong house. Go, go. Mom! Mom! Get 15% off in-stock level or blinds. Plus, have them cut to width for free. You make a great team. It's been that way since the day you met. But your erectile dysfunction? It could be a question of blood flow. Cialis Tadalafil for daily use helps you be ready anytime the moment's right. You can be more confident in your ability to be ready. And the same Cialis is the only daily ED tablet approved to treat ED and symptoms of BPH, like needing to go frequently or urgently. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions and medications and ask if your heart is healthy enough for sexual activity. Do not take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain, as this may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Do not drink alcohol in excess with Cialis. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease or loss in hearing or vision, or if you have any allergic reactions, such as rash, hives, swelling of the lips, tongue, or throat, or difficulty breathing or swallowing, stop Stop taking Cialis and get medical help right away. Ask your doctor about Cialis for daily use in a 30-tablet free trial. When we say the all-new Chrysler 200 is all new, we mean it. We used the latest tools and built a new state-of-the-art manufacturing plant. We gave it new smart technology. We challenged conventional thinking with a more intuitive design. And we set new expectations of what an American sedan can be. The all-new Chrysler 200. America's import. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm on it. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You're covered, Kevin. Thanks, Melinda. Uh, wait, uh, I have blah blah insurance, so person, come help. Hey, Grandma. Dad, look who it is. I see who it is. Six callers ahead of us, Jimmy. You're not helping. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. There to help you anytime, anywhere, any way. That's getting to a better state. Ellen? What? I just got an email about a sale on flights to Paris, but it's about to end. Oh. I can't find her notepad with passwords on it. Maybe the den. My bedside table? I'll check. Never mind. Sale's over. Meet Dashlane, the solution to your password problems. Access your passwords everywhere and automatically log into every site, all with ironclad security. Trusted by millions. Go to Dashlane.com and get it for free today. Sunday night, only the Weather Channel drops you into nature's deadliest predicaments and asks, so you think you'd survive boating in a storm? Oh! A new original series that puts you to the test. Oh my God! So you think you'd survive? Sunday night at 9 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 83 degrees with thunderstorms in the area. This afternoon, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High 85. Rainfall near an inch. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms. Low 73. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook.
a.m. on AMHQ. Let's get you in front of today's weather. The biggest weather hour anywhere. What a gorgeous start. Weekday mornings on the Weather Channel. More video to show you from the flooding in Houston this morning. It's been getting a lot of rain over the past few days from the remnants of Hurricane Odile, which was a strong Category 3 when it made landfall in Mexico this past weekend. And Texas is getting it right now, and some major cities up north are in for severe weather over the weekend. We're talking Minneapolis to Detroit. So let's get ready for that. Look at the live at Minneapolis from our affiliate the KARE, CARE 11. And we've got some clouds around, but there is a cold front on the way. Yeah, some chilly conditions ahead for Minneapolis, but I'm sure they're like, this is nothing. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, let's go to Dr. Forbes. He's got the threat for severe weather this weekend. He's in the lab. There will be a cold front that will move from the northern plains all the way up into the parts of the northeast by Sunday. It will have some severe weather with it, primarily spotty damaging wind gusts. Here is that cold front where it's forecast to be this evening. Warm moist air coming northbound ahead of that. The storms may wait till evening and overnight in these red shaded areas because there's a little bit of warm air aloft that might inhibit them. But anywhere overnight uh, from Omaha to Des Moines to Madison and Green Bay could get some of those spotty damaging wind gusts. Then as we head into Saturday, that cold front continues eastbound. Now, some of those overnight storms may actually get into some of the areas ahead of the front, Illinois, Michigan, and maybe even be some severe weather in the morning hours and then give way as some of the sun comes out uh, and warm, moist air continues to pour northeast ahead of that frontal zone, the, uh, such that we may get a second round that comes in, probably a stronger round in the afternoon and, and early evening. Low-level jet, pretty much the same direction as the surface wind, so not a huge tornado threat, but a strong upper-level jet stream blasting toward the area with some cold pockets aloft from the northwest might give a chance of a tornado or two and as well as some damaging winds. In fact, back under that cold pocket, Minnesota, Wisconsin, I haven't drawn red, but there could be some spotty hail. The damaging wind threat from Michigan down into the Chicago area, down into the Kansas City area. And I have given a torque on there of three, 30% chance of a tornado within 50 miles of north and central Illinois. As we head into Sunday, then severe threat pushes into parts of upstate New York, down into parts of Kentucky and Tennessee. Again, spotty body damaging winds, the main threat. Back to you. Thanks, Dr. Forbes. You know, one of the areas that we're watching as we go into the weekend certainly is a system on the coast that's likely to bring some rain. Let's take a look at the visible satellite, and you could see kind of a burst of that white moving into the west coast of Florida. That's kind of an indication of what's happening as well. When we look at our radar picture, the bright white high top clouds show we have thunderstorms, and they are coming in straight from the Gulf of Mexico. There's a stationary front right through the center of the state, and as low pressure rides along the front over the weekend, we'll look for enhanced chance of showers and thunderstorms. Look at Sarasota right now getting hit with some heavy rain, as is Fort Myers and into Naples. Those beautiful beaches getting pounded with rain right now. And as we look towards the, the setup for the weekend, this front lingers around. You have moist flow coming up from the Gulf. All of that together along with the jet stream kind of steers the energy almost bottled up into Florida. So we'll look for, by contrast, nicer weather in the Northeast where we have high pressure and even warmer conditions. We'll start to get winds coming in from the South. But on the flip side, as low pressure forms along the front, it'll just be unsettled all weekend. So this is the type of weekend in Florida. You kind of have to be prepared for those thunderstorms. As I mentioned, some changes ahead for the northeast. This low will eventually work its way up the eastern seaboard and change things. But at least we're getting a mild start there in the northeast section of the U.S. Stormy to the south. Dave? Now you know our saying, it's amazing out there. Well, we know there are a lot of amazing events happening this weekend. Today we're taking a look at Greenville. Mississippi, and they've got a festival coming up here. Here is the uh, Greenville, Mississippi is uh, right on the Mississippi River. There's a big levee right there, and they've got the Blues and Heritage Festival, and the big day is tomorrow out there. So go out there and enjoy it. Just make sure you're protected from the sun. 92, right on the banks of the Mississippi River. Have a great time, but drink plenty of water and wear that wide-brimmed hat. I think you'll look really good in that. Bonnie, back to you. Thanks so much, Dave. You know, we're watching weekend weather as we get ready on a Friday to check out our plans ahead for the weekend. And big changes, as you can imagine, are in store for many parts of the country. It's something we're watching very, very closely. You know, we're watching for wet weather into the southeast, but eventually we'll see some changes um, into areas as we go to the northeast for the weekend. So starting out kind of mild as we go through. What about for Saturday? Stormy weather for parts of Chicago. Oh, no, the Midwest facing storms. 
storms. That's why we're keeping a close watch on those areas. But for Sunday, things are changing. You can see it dries out and cools down for areas in the Midwest, and it gets a little more wet for the Northeast as well as areas in the Southeast. And Dave, we're also looking at still some wet weather. The, the threat for rain persists across areas of the Southwest, something to really keep a close watch on. This is football season, and this season we're bringing you 12 towns, 12 weeks. And today we head south to Prattville, Alabama. Now, Prattville was listed as one of the top 10 best high school football towns in America by College Stats. Now, these days, the Prattville Lions are the team to beat in Otago County. But as Jim Cantori tells us, it wasn't always that way. About the middle of July, when one of those afternoon showers come through and you can feel a nip in the air, your baseball team's in last place, and you say, oh, man, it's, it's football time. Prattville, Alabama, a slice of Americana just outside of Montgomery. Very few remnants remain of the EF3 tornado that cut through here six years ago. What you can see is the town's love for football. Come Friday night, all eyes turn to Prattville High School, home of the Prattville Lions. Push, push, push back. It's so strong within the town how much they love football. It's just amazing. I've been in the playoffs before where we show up at a playoff game and we have more fans than the home team in a playoff game. Each week you'll see pep rallies, posters of opposing players, and busloads of fans. They love football in this town. They always have. But few love it more than longtime sports writer and statistician Jimmy White. No, 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 no. There's a lot of them that love football as much as I do. It's just that I've been with them so much. Jimmy never played sports, but he's recorded the stats for the Lions for more than 60 of their 100 seasons. Jimmy White, he's been, he's been on the sidelines forever. Uh, I can remember him being on our sidelines when I played and even before that. I love to be a part of like a big team and like like on Friday nights like I can care less you know how many catches I get. As long as we win that's all I'm happy about. For 70 years the state championship had eluded the Prattville Lions until 1984. And we walked out on that field and this was the first Saturday in December and it was like it was springtime. The sun was out and it was beautiful. It wasn't cold or nothing. I said this is our day and we won 17 to 7. And the time we got back to Prattville, downtown Prattville looked like it had snowed. There was so much confetti and signs all over the place. State champs. That was a good time. First one. The first one. Since then, the Lions have won four more state championships. And Jimmy is still on the sidelines recording their stats. It's a nostalgic feeling, really and truly, uh, to, to watch and I see a kid play and I said, golly, I remember his daddy playing. And it makes you realize the uh, shortness of life. Makes you feel a little bit happy. It looks like you accomplished something. All those years it's been great to be from Prattville. Prattville's playing Central High School tonight. It's at, look at that, sevens are wild. The game starts at seven, temperature 77, east wind at seven. Looks good. Nice looking weather, just a few clouds. Currently in our area, 74 degrees with a heavy thunderstorm. This afternoon, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High 85. Rainfall near an inch. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms. Low 73. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook.
home or business, damage can happen. When it does, turn to the specialists who put help in the palm of your hand. The Ready App and Emergency Response Plans from 1 800 Serve Pro. Like it never even happened. The Dueler tires on Terrence Knighton's truck are engineered to be Bridgestone's best SUV tires. And now they have an 80,000 mile treadwear warranty. Guess we're going to be here a while. First time on a treadmill? What are you saying? I'm just saying. Right now, buy four Bridgestone tires, including the Dueler HL Alenza Plus, and get a $70 Bridgestone Visa prepaid card by mail. It's game on with Bridgestone at Firestone Complete Auto Care. I typed my name, and Ancestry opened the door to my past. Before my eyes, my family story was revealed. And the further I traveled back, the more I discovered. Let Ancestry guide you through the world's largest online collection of family history records. Discover your story today at Ancestry.com. Let's do some fancy footwork. Tap into new territory with style. Step up the savings and learn some new moves. Yeah, let's tango. Here, here, even here. Then, let's take a bow. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Modern tile. Just 148 per square foot. This is the year to leave the ordinary behind and keep the promises you made to yourself. Take a leap of faith and have a little adventure. Stop dreaming and start doing. This is the year and Alaska is the place. Begin your adventure at alaskabeyondyourdreams.com. Am I missing a deadline? Will I get there in time? Am I going too fast? Did I close the garage door? Stay in your lane. I don't think I sent that email. I should make a reservation. I thought it was clear. Okay, break. I didn't see that coming. Its instinct to protect leaves you free to drive. Lease the Infiniti Q50 for $3.39 a month. Visit your local Infiniti retailer. Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. Hello, this is where we do that bundling thing. Let's see what you got. RV, covered. Why would you pay for a hotel? I never do. Motorcycles, check. ATV. I ride those. Do you? No. Boat. Oh, I'm 80s. House? Hello, dear. Hello. Hello. Fan with airbrushed fire-breathing dragons. Ah, check. The more you bundle, the more you save. Now that's progressive. This is Weather Center Live, and this is a look along the I-95 corridor. A gorgeous day in Washington, D.C. and New York, but in Boston, my gosh, yeah, the sun's out, but it's 56 degrees. Holy sure smokes. Those are, those are pretty days to kind of walk around the city. Boston's such a great walkable city, so I don't know, I like the temperatures like that, but it's definitely a cool day. And during the last official weekend of summer, where did the time go? It has people wondering, is fall really here? What do you think, Dave? Is well, it here? I think fall is here, especially in the Northeast. People have been kvetching now for our, our 1900 kvetch line has been absolutely <laughs> full of people saying, what happened to, you know, what especially, happened to spring? you know, in the Northeast where the summer seems to have gone by too quickly, Excuse right? Me one second. Yes, I have to get my clicker. <laughs> where is he going? I'm, no, I'm come getting on back. my clicker. All right, good. Yes, check you this know, out. Uh, absolutely. So temperatures are certainly changing. We're getting a taste of the cooler weather. But then, just to confuse everyone at home, it's going to get warm again this weekend, right? Topsy yes. turvy. Yes. Uh, Travis, I, I wonder if you could help us with the graphics here. Well, we're definitely looking at some changes. You oh, know, this moved? morning it's so cold. Newport, 28 degrees in the 20s. It's still officially summer, right? I, I never heard of Newport. Uh, 
Vermont. Hey, you 28 degrees this morning. Well, in Rutland, you've heard of that 34 degrees. So temperatures definitely cold. And even right now, it's in the mid 50s, but some places even colder than that. Just on the border there in northern Maine, 51 degrees. So you know, a lot of people are definitely wearing coats today. And you can see that our high pressure is dominating. That's why we're getting, we had the clear skies last night and the really cold temperatures. But the pattern, Dave, is going to change as we move forward. You can see that high pressure is going to start to push off to the east and we'll get more of a southerly flow. And that's going to make temperatures warm up again. That'll warm us up, right? Here comes the southerly winds, right? There you go. But then here comes the next trough from Canada. Oh, no. And that's going to replace <laughs> warm air with cool air again. So it's, you know, back and forth this time of that's year. That's true. So right? through the weekend, we're going to see temperatures rise 5 to 10 degrees above normal. This is going to confuse everyone. We're back into the 70s, the mid-70s in New York City tomorrow. And then 81 degrees. Now, I like this because everybody's trying to get their last trip in to the beaches or maybe the pool. Go for it on Sunday. You are so right. It's going to be a great beach weekend. It sure is. And then on Monday, it's going to cool down in the wake of the front back into the 50s in Syracuse, low 60s in Pittsburgh. Yeah, so it's really inland areas that are dropping 10 to 15 degrees below normal. When you start looking at this other cities, we're kind of close to normal after that little spot of warm weather. There's my hometown, huh? Ah, Philadelphia. There's your perfect beach weekend. Head down to Atlantic <laughs> oh, City, sure. Wildwood. Temperatures in the 80s by Sunday afternoon, then back to below. Average. You know what the average temperature of all those numbers is, Bonnie? I did I the would math. Say, I would the mid-70s, right? 77, which is our yeah. average high in close. Philadelphia. So 84 degrees as we look towards Sunday. So you're right. I think the Jersey Shore is going to be packed, packed with all the beachgoers saying, hey, it's still summer and we're going to get out there and enjoy it. So keep that in mind, right? Saltwater taffy? Anybody? Why not? Time for our top five videos. That's true. Let's and move into these babies. Yeah, huh? time for our top five. We're going to take a look at all of the amazing weather videos from, the, unfortunately, we got in from some destruction. It's from the path of what was Hurricane Odile. Number five, time lapse captured from the National Weather Service Reno office as the King Fire smoke moved into downtown Reno yesterday. Poor air quality alert. Well, southeastern New Mexico was hit with serious flash flooding near Riadoso, and unfortunately, they saw at least several inches of rain in a fire area. Number three, Manila was hit by heavy rain as Tropical Storm Mario approached several provinces across the Philippines. A rough time there. Streets were just submerged with torrents of fast-moving water. Number two, Oh, how new That's video of a rare deep sea creature known as siphonophore. Oh my god. <laughs> siphonophore. I guess that's that's a new one, huh? It's not just one animal, it's a living colony made up of many individual yeah. organisms working yeah, together. That's and that's number incredible. one. All right, well, the best video of the day comes from the renewal, removal of a dam in Olympic National Park. It's one of the largest dam removals ever recorded in history in Washington State. You can upload your videos anytime at weather.com slash photos. Now this. It's this round ottoman with super cute fabric. And then she's got this gorgeous leather sofa. She says that it's from Lazy Boy? I know, she's totally lying. Well, right? They only sell recliners. Well, celebrities are just so secretive, you know? It's not like... She's got me. What? How things get here? Store-wide savings on great-looking styles. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. When you see everyone in America, almost every day, you notice a few things. Like the fact that you are pretty attached to these. Okay, really attached. And that's all right, because we'll text you when your package is on the way. We're even expanding Sunday package delivery. Yes, Sunday. At the U.S. Postal Service, our priority is, was, and always will be you. Lowe's presents how to install a new washing machine with one finger. Maybe a little more that way. Nice. Now get 10% off all major appliances, $3.99 and above. I'm Creek Stewart, Weather Channel survival expert. Every Sunday night, we're taking three regular guys deep into the woods. Are you serious? Where we'll teach them not just to survive, so make fire, but how to truly live. Look at this caveman. Show yourself what you're made of on Weather Channel Survival Sundays. At 9, it's so you think you'd survive. Then at 10, fat guys in the woods. Every Sunday night on the Weather Channel. Are you ready? Off the couch, into the weather.
currently in our area, 74 degrees, with a heavy thunderstorm. This afternoon, thunderstorms with locally heavy downpours. High 85, rainfall near an inch. Tonight, scattered thunderstorms, low 73. Winds light and variable, chance of rain 60%. Here's our seven day outlook. Theraflu starts to get to work in your body in just five minutes. Theraflu breaks you free from your worst cold and flu symptoms. Theraflu, serious power. People all over the world know us, but they don't yet know we're a family. We're right where you need us. At the next job, next adventure, or at the next exit. Helping you explore super destinations and do everything under the sun. 12 brands, more hotels than anyone else in the world. So wherever you want to be, whatever you want to do, chances are we're already there. Save up to 25% and earn bonus points when you book at WyndhamRewards.com. Safe Flight Repair, Safe Flight Replace. What makes Safe Flight different? We're always there for you. You can schedule anytime, anywhere with our mobile website or call us 24-7. Then we'll come to you. That's another Safe Flight advantage. Safe Flight Repair, Safe Flight Replace. California is known for its grapes, and so is my family. Over three generations have taught us about growing the best tasting fruit. Our grapes ripen on the vines so that the flavors can fully develop, and only the most experienced hands harvest them to bring quality fruit to your table. That's why we work with Walmart. Together we guarantee you only get the freshest grapes available. You used to sleep like a champ, then boom, what happened? Life happened. Stress, fun, bad habits. Kids, kids, kids. Now what? Not milk, not sheep, not that. Let's think smarter. Let's get some science in here. Let's build a bed. Another bed? No, a smarter bed. An entirely new sleep number bed that tracks your movement, your heartbeat, your breathing. Sensors working directly with the dual air chambers. Yeah, you need the air chambers. Introducing the Sleep Number Bed, now with Sleep IQ technology. It tracks your sleep patterns and tells you how to adjust for a good night's sleep, a better night, and an awesome night. So what sleep number adjustments make the difference? Try cranking it up, adjust it down, a little bubbly, or nix the late night flicks. Wait, you'll know what works, because Sleep IQ technology tells you. And all you have to do is sleep, which is easy. Only at a Sleep Number store, mattresses with Sleep IQ start at just $999.98, because everyone deserves a great night's sleep. No better sleep with Sleep Number. Or go to quickenloans.com for a mortgage experience that's engineered to amaze. The wildest weather ever caught on camera. Oh my God. Tonight, tomorrow night, every weeknight, wild weather at 8 on the Weather Channel. Time now for our tropical update. I'm in the lab now with Dr. Rostell, and we've got a lot going on here. He's watching everything around the world. What do you have? <laughs> we have tons of circles here. Yes. We've got uh, Tropical Storm Polo. We've got another area to watch in the Pacific. Uh, Edward right here is a tropical storm. That is in the middle of the Atlantic. This one's going to stay in the middle of the Atlantic, thankfully. That's good. Yeah, I know, isn't it? And an invest. invest. Yeah, so the invest is coming right off Africa. It looks like you've got a lot of thunderstorm activity right now. Yeah, this one I think is going to stay out to sea, so I'm not so concerned about it. Let's look at the tropical storm that's actually closest to landmass, and that is Polo. And we've been talking about this the last couple of days because 
We've seen this before, haven't we? A yes. system close to southern uh, Baja, California. Yeah, Odile, but we're not talking about the exact same scenario, right? Good news, right? I mean, it's a 70 mile per hour tropical storm, so it's nowhere near as strong as Odile was, and it's probably on a different track, meaning headed out to sea, not going to go right into southern Baja because Cabo San Lucas needs a break. You know, first we had Norbert, Odile, now Polo, so that's good news for people in Cabo San Lucas, certainly. Absolutely, and let's model it out here where we think the rain showers and all the clouds are going to go over the next, say, 24 to 48 hours. And Cabo gets kind of brushed right there by some showers, but the center is a long way away, and that's good news. That is good news. So we're watching Polo. Do you think the effects are still going to be just some rain, but nothing too severe? I think that's right. I think there'll be some breezes skirting the coast, perhaps 20 to 30 miles per hour, maybe a little bit more than that. But most of the rain remains way out to sea, and this thing eventually dissipates over cooler ocean waters and an atmosphere that is basically not going to support its survival. So uh, it's good. going to dissipate out to sea. And we have tropical storm watches anyway. Right, for the tropical storm force winds. But mm -hmm. um, again, I'm so glad to hear that it's not the same scenario as Norbert or Odile. Not even close. Okay. And I, I like that. Here's the cone from the Hurricane Center, and it does take that hard left turn or westward turn out to sea. And you can see, there we go. We're losing the intensity very quickly on that track. Now, I know we're not just watching Polo. There's other situations that are going to impact us this weekend. So. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, one of them is uh, close to the Atlantic. And at top of the hour, I'll talk a little bit about that. But uh, here's Edward in the middle of the Atlantic. And good news here, it's also weak. And you can, where is it? It's, you don't even know where it is. It's, the believe it or not, it's right there. Good. As long as it's moving away, I think everyone's pleased about that. But it definitely, at one time, a powerful a storm. It was a major hurricane, major hurricane. Now just a wimpy little swirl. Okay. <laughs> we'll say goodbye to that swirl. Yeah. So, Dave, we're, we're keeping an eye on here, here on things in the tropics. I know that you're also talking about some of the impacts that Odile has had. Oh, that is so true. You know, and we've been doing that all week. We've shown you the disastrous impacts of Hurricane Odile's wrath on Baja, California. And it's been a struggle for the tens of thousands of tourists stranded there to get back home. Well, one of them was actually